Hello everybody. I am Christina Berman, your DMV instructor. On today's virtual lesson, it is the first one. It is about the steering wheel. Please pay attention to the whiteboard as it pertains to this lesson. Before moving on, let me tell you something. This class has five students maximum. This is due to the COVID-19 pandemic that is still going on. So we have all K-95 members including Ella, Jershwin, Maxine, Reef, and Theo. Let's get started, shall we? Does any of the five students have any questions to ask? Yes, Ella. How can I steer my vehicle safely? Well, Ella, that answers your question. You can also test your position and proper reach and handling of your steering wheels when you can rest your wrists on top of the steering wheels without having to lean over. This way you can easily turn your steering wheels on sharp turns without having to lean over or overextend your arms. Imagine your steering wheels as a clock. Hold your steering wheels at the 9 o'clock and 3 o'clock position and you should be able to make sharp turns comfortably with your arms having some bend in them and are not fully extended during sharp turns. You also need to be able to reach the pedals without having to extend your legs completely. You need to have some bend in your legs so you can comfortably reach the pedals. Yes, Jershwin? How do I steer my vehicle in general? Well, Jershwin, that answers your question. But for some reason, this question does not match the ten and two hands on the steering wheel. Picture your steering wheel as a clock. The best practice is to hold it in either of the following positions, the left hand at 8 o'clock and the right hand at 4 o'clock position, or the left hand at 9 o'clock and the right hand at 3 o'clock position. Here are the best steering techniques, please listen carefully and do not ignore them or try to drown them out with noise from your electronic devices and your headphones that you connected to them and headphone jacks that you brought to class with you. Method 1, Push-Pull Steering Technique the push-pull method is a recommended way to make safer and smoother turns. It also allows for keeping both hands on the steering wheel during the turn. How do I make a left turn? Thanks Jershwin for answering a question. Step 1. Start with your hands positioned at 8 and 4 o'clock. Step 2. Pull down with your left hand, for example, from 8 o'clock to approximately 7 o'clock. Step 3. Push up with your right hand, for example from 4 o'clock to approximately 1 o'clock. Step 4. Repeat the steps to complete your turn. And finally, Step 5. Counter steer to go straight. Any other students have a question to ask? How do I make a right turn? Well Maxine, when making a right turn, here are the steps to follow. Step 1. Start with your hands positioned at 8 and 4 o'clock. Step 2. Pull down with your right hand, for example, from 4 o'clock to approximately 5 o'clock. Step 3. Push up with your left hand, for example, from 8 o'clock to approximately 11 o'clock. Step 4. Repeat the steps to complete your turn. And finally, Step 5. Counter steer to go straight. The second technique is the hand over hand steering technique. Please pay attention immediately. The hand over hand steering method provides the ability to make quicker turns but it should only be used when turning at low speed or to make an emergency turn. Here are some of the uses of the hand over hand steering method, pay attention. Guys, I will give you 15 seconds to tell me the uses for the hand over hand steering method. You have 15 seconds. Go. Making a sharp right turn. That's one. Making a U-turn. Me thinks me saw cookie back the way we came. Ooh nom nom nom. That's two. But your Schwinn. You don't need to reference one of the WAS voices. Parking, especially parallel in a downtown street. That's three, and yes Maxine, that includes parallel parking in city streets. Ooh ooh ooh. I've got one. Correct out of a skid, especially on black ice and rain and snow covered roads. That's four. And we've, you got that at the very last second. Good job. Moving on. The name explains itself, as you turn. Your hands are going to cross each other. Here are the steps for turning using hand over hand steering. Please pay attention to the following. Start with your hands positioned at 9 and 3 o'clock, and then do the following steps, to name a couple. 1. To turn right, your left hand will grab the steering wheel at 9 o'clock and turn it clockwise to approximately 2 o'clock, then your right hand will cross over your left hand and grab it around 10 o'clock and continue turning and repeat the pattern. To turn left, 
Your left hand will grab the steering wheel at 3 o'clock and turn it counterclockwise to approximately 10 o'clock. Then your left hand will cross over your right hand and grab it around 2 o'clock and continue turning and repeat the pattern. To go straight, just reverse the movements. I have a question. Do you steer with one hand while making a U-turn? Well Theo, the answer to this is no. You cannot make a U-turn with one hand, as you will hit a child, pedestrian, bicyclist, telephone pole, traffic light, light pole, or a parking meter. You will also drive onto the sidewalk and no one wants that. No. no. Third and final technique, the one-hand steering technique. Please pay attention as it pertains to it. No ignoring or drowning out. Ever. The name explains itself. The driver uses only one hand to steer. This method is only used when backing up when you do not need to make a full left or right turn and when you need to use your other hand for changing gears or using another vehicle control. That concludes today's Tailslandy and River Regional DMV lesson. Remember, we have five student DMV classes every Tuesday and Thursday. Please message me if you want help or you need answers for your online practice exam class dismissed. See you on Monday. And the reason why we have a DMV class on Monday is because Tuesday is Tailslandian Day and Tailslandian Gardens Real Estate's 19th birthday in real life. Enjoy your weekend. If I don't see you Monday, please message me. Goodbye for now.